So for this look, I'm using my Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to take the shade Limit and just use that as my crease color. Who you think you're talking to? Then for my outer corner shade, I'm going to take the shade Lunar and apply it with this small fluffy brush. I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just applying that on my eyelids for a base for the eyeshadow color. So this is where things get a bit messy. I'm gonna take the shade Intense, Intense Gaze from the Anastasia Word Traveler's Palette and use that as my eyelid color. I didn't like how Nunar looked with this eyelid color, so I'm gonna take the shade Fudge from that same Anastasia Palette and just apply it onto my outer V. Then I took my e.l.f. glitter primer and I applied that to my lids. I then went over it with the shade Spoiled, which is also in the Anastasia palette because I did not look like the look of the Intense Gaze. And I didn't like the look of the Spoiled shade either, so I took Bellini and applied that on top of Spoiled. I know, I went crazy with this look. And then I took Noor, the black shade, and used that as a eyeliner. I just smoked it out with this uh, Sephora brush. I think it's the number 29. To prime my face, I then took my Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. My nose has been really dry, so I, I primed it with a hydrating primer and I used the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydra Primer Primer Lotion. To correct the redness on my face, I took the Essence Say No to Redness Concealer. Foundation, I took the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 228 Soft Tan. I've been liking filling them in with eyeshadow, so I took the shade Chocolate from the Lorac Matte Pro Palette. I find that with eyeshadow, it's so much easier to fill in and to fill in like these sparse areas. For my upper lashes, I did curl them with the e.l.f. eyelash curler and I took my Flower Beauty Mascara. Who you think you're talking to? I've been looking way too hard and let you feel that way, To bronze up my face, I took the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Dual Ended Contour Stick and I took the contour shade and I have mine in 752A Medium Tan. This is so easy to blend out and it's very, very affordable. For 
more concealer, you already know. I'm taking the Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline in the shade Neutralizer. I'm just trying to finish this up so I can get a new um, Fit Me Concealer. This wasn't my favorite. To cream contour, I'm going to take the Colourpop Sculpting Stick in Platonic. To set my whole face, I'm going to take the Rimmel London Match Perfection, Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder in the shade Transparent. <laughs> Taking that same Rimmel loose powder and I'm using a real technique sponge. To go over the cream contour, I'm gonna take the Anastasia contour kit and this time I'm gonna take the shade in Havana. You know, you guys know I always use Bond, but I decided to do Havana this time. For the lower lash line, I decided to add a pop of color and I'm taking Azure, I think that's how you pronounce it, from that same Anastasia palette. I felt like my lower lash line was a bit dark, so I took the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner in white and I just applied that to my water my waterline for my lower lashes I'm gonna take the telescopic shocking extensions mascara from L'Oreal for blush I use the wet and wild color icon blush and mellow wine I'm taking that same Real Technique sponge and that Remelt Loose Powder and just cutting my contour with it. I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Beam and just tight lining my upper lash line. Then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I took Bare from the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. Tired of you're not doing your research, look me up I've been on it since I was fierce, so look me up uh, Bet you never let it go so far For highlight, I'm taking the Essence Pure Highlighter And I did not set my face in this video or this whole day Because I ran out of my e.l.f. makeup mist and set So, sadly I have to go purchase a new one For lipstick, I took Media from MAC And when I finished this video I realized that I used the wrong lipstick. I was going for a dark matte red, which was Diva, but with media it still looked great. So you can use either. No, that's not a booger. That's just my dried up nose. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.